<clears throat> I sat here for maybe 20 minutes, could be longer. Trying to figure out how to make this video, but um, <clears throat> I haven't been posting for a while. Um, it's been a couple of days since I've been able to post, and the reasoning behind it is just that it's just a lot of stress everywhere, and. I don't really do well with stress. Um, I try and get find a comfortable position to be in. So <laughs> I don't really do well with stress, but I've been trying to figure out how to find like words and where like put what I've been thinking and feeling, you know, into sentences. But it's been very difficult to kind of do that. Um, just kind of been in my head a lot. Off of like knowing where I want to be and doing what I want to do and being the person I want to be. And there's a lot of like ups and downs and twists and turns. And, and I know that's not really conducive way to like express that vocally like how I'm doing right now um but some stuff that's been going on recently is that uh I want to say my pastor recently passed away I haven't seen him in years though but I've crossed paths with him in the grocery store a while ago, like a couple years ago. And he didn't look well at the time. And because of that, like this is years ago, but you know, things have kind of like, kind of gotten to a point now where um, I received a call from his wife and it was one of those things where she was wanted to tell me that, you know, if you wanted to see him, you got to come see him now. Like, right now. Like, hop in the car right now. <laughs> and so, like, I had a meeting that day. <laughs> it was, my meeting was at 12 o'clock. But I had stayed up all night writing my one of my books I'm working on. And I woke up at 12.30. So I missed my meeting. And I woke up like abruptly. And I was like, oh my god, I'm, I missed my meeting. I'm behind. So I got to get up and you know, hurry up and message this person and stuff. And it, it wasn't a business meeting. It was just a leisurely meeting, like just kind of like meet up with someone, have a conversation, talk and stuff. Um, so unfortunately I missed that, but right as I was waking up, like I got a text message and um, I think, I don't even remember what the text message says. I think it says like, hey, is this Nigel or something? Um, give me a call. This is so-and-so, you know, give me a call when you can. And so when I called, it was his wife and um, yeah, that's when she told me, like, hey, you know, uh, you've always been a good person in his life, and he always wanted to look after you and let you know how how much you meant to him. And it's one of those times right now where um, if you want to see him because he's not doing well, you have to come right now. Now, uh, and this, it was kind of like nerve-wracking, you know? 
It was nerve wracking because like first off, you when you get those calls, um, no one's ever ready for those calls. And you think you may be, but especially not like this one. I haven't seen them in years. And bam, out of nowhere, you know, it kinda hits you in the face. And I think like like the out so I went I went to to their house. She gave me an address. You know, I popped over right away and he wasn't it's exactly how she said he wasn't well. Like even now as I close my eyes and I'm having this conversation <laughs> with myself <laughs> Uh, I could still see it, um, and it wasn't it wasn't pretty. I will say it wasn't pretty. And I've been a caretaker before, so I kind of I kind of been in those situations before, but this one it wasn't pretty, and it just has you questioning a lot of things. When it comes to, like, do I, it's, it's, it's almost like, do I deserve the responsibility to be here right now? Um, and, you know, I do what I can on a day-to-day -day basis to try to do uh, the right thing and what's right for me and those people around me. And these moments are jarring in a sense where you never, I guess, I guess most people never want to see anybody like that in that, in that situation, but I think I think this hurtful part of it all is just, I guess, I guess the feeling of being powerless, you know. As he laid there in his hospital bed that he had and in his home, um, he stared at the ceiling and breathing. And it was a moment where I wanted to walk in and talk to him as if he wasn't in the situation he was in. And so I, I walked in and I just talked to him like a friend that you haven't seen in a long time. And I just let him know that, I, hey, you know, I haven't seen you in a while. It's just been so good to, to finally see you again. And I can tell by the way I looked at him that he can hear me and he knew who I was. And his breathing actually got faster. So I guess he was always just an excited, exciting man. And it was nice to feel the energy of him recognizing who I was. Um, so I just talked to him and said, hey, you know, I just want to let you know that I, I just want to stop by and just let you know how I was doing and let you know I was doing good, and I I started my restaurant. I, I started. I got my video game cafe going, and I want you to know that I was doing good, and everything taught me, kind of brought me to where I am today. And that's the truth, you know. Like, um, he was a big part of my life, and. 
I think that it was very helpful, you know, for both. Maybe even him, I don't know, but for me, for me, you know, to see him one last time and just let him know what was going on. And, I, and it's, it's very odd for me to say this, but I find myself in these situations more often than I feel like anybody should or anybody does, Not I guess is the more proper term. Um, I find myself with this, I guess, div- almost a divine duty. It, it feels arrogant to even say that, but like to just make people feel happy. But within the same breath of me saying that, <laughs> like those people sometimes, it's like, I have this ability to bring happiness to people. And I can see that people get motivated and I can see how I can do that to people and make them feel good. And But at the same time though, sometimes I feel like I need to take that back and give it to myself. And I don't think I know how to properly do that. I think it's very difficult for me because sometimes, especially in a leadership position, I feel like, I feel there's a lot of pressure for people to get that that feeling from me and there's a lot of pressure where sometimes I have people around who are there pulling for that out of me you know it's like it's almost like this is the understanding of this is kind of like my role and I don't know if that's even the truth Sometimes I feel like it's my role to kind of bring these people their happiness, and it's almost sometimes in a case where it doesn't exist or their happiness, or they feel like sometimes they feel like they can't have it without me. And it's a lot of pressure on me, it's a lot of responsibility, and it's a and in moments like this. You know, sometimes, you know, I just need to be poured into instead of pulled from. So, it's been days since this happened. And... I've I've taken some time now to just be by myself and um, (laughs) there are some relationships I have to put on hold, you know, some responsibilities I have to put on hold and there's some things I have to falter off of, like not because I want to, but it's kind of because I just don't, I just don't have the strength to hold uphold those things, and I'm very resilient in the way that I can pick myself back up and keep going. But in these moments like this, I just need to not be needed. And I will say that I do live a blessed lifestyle where I can walk away from a lot of things without much consequence. (laughs) And 
that unfortunately means that I walk away from some people because I just can't support them how I normally do. And this year has been a hard one, you know. <laughs> this year started. Not not this year, but the last year or the last yeah, the last year and months and time and and I find myself losing people and not because they walk away or they travel different paths, but I lose people who leave this this earth. People pass away, people who probably want to stay but just can't. And I don't do funerals very often, but like I'm finding myself in those conversations a lot. And it's not that I shouldn't, but it is a lot to take in. And it took me a long time to pick the camera back up. It took me, like, the camera's been in my hand for a long time right now, and it took me a lot to pick this thing back up. And it's not that it's hard to sit here and record myself, but sometimes it's just heavy. And I struggle with being able to continue sometimes. And sometimes I just I just fall and I just have to sit there for a second <laughs> and rest. <laughs> because it does get hard. And there are still people in my life now um, who are there for me. A lot of times they don't know how to be there for me. I don't know how to tell them how to be there for me. (laughs) But, you know, and then there's the other people in my life who, you know, are on the closing side of their lives. And I know that I'm going to have to spend as much time with them as I can you know, before their story ends as well. And it's just so difficult to have enough time. And that's the whole thing of why I said I wanted to start the blog in the first place. It's because when you put people on camera, they're there forever until you delete those files. You get lost in this moment of what is right now, and you get to lock in what you hope for, what you dream of, and goals you wish to achieve, and places you want to go, and people you want to meet, and things you want to do. But right now, um, I was going to attempt to record um, or attempt to upload for days that I've missed, but um, I think I'm just going to continue on from here on out and do the best I can from here on out and not give myself too much crap for missing days. Um, I don't know how to communicate these feelings to those around me, which which makes things even more difficult because they don't know what's going on. So I'm kind of in it by myself. And that's okay. 
but, you know, maybe I've done a good job at communicating things here. And maybe that, and maybe, things can get better with how I'm feeling. And I know things, I know life has these ups and downs, but I want to make sure that I capture as much as I can and still be dedicated to myself and this journey of uploading my vlog. Peace.